Hello, this is Diane Schuster. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to schedule a job so that it runs once a day. So here I am on the dashboard. I'm already logged in to my Cozy Rock Cloud account. And there are various ways to get started, but this time I'll show you I can click on this plus right in the scheduled jobs uh, cube there. And then I'll choose the package that I want to schedule. I'll give it a name. I could give it a longer description and I could choose a different log level, but I'm going to leave it at the default, which is basic. And so timing is where most of the action is going to happen for this demonstration. Uh, you want to check your time zone to make sure it matches where you are and make sure it matches your profile setting for the time zone. And then here you have the choice of setting the schedule type to recurring or one time. And I'm going to use recurring, which is the default. And then in my case, I want it to run on a daily basis. Um, but you also have the choice of weekly or monthly. And so I'll go back to daily. And here you can say I want it to run every three days or something like that. I am going to leave it at the default of one. And then on the days that it does run, you can say I want it to run, you know, every uh, four hours, let's say. But in my case, I just want it to run once every day. So now I get to choose the time that I want it to run. So it uh, shows you uh, the time that it currently is right now. And I just want to change it to run at uh, 2.15, let's say. So I just move little hands where I want them. And then I will choose when I want it to start running on a daily basis. So let's say I want it to start on Monday, the 22nd. So I'll choose that. And then I choose the end date. So let's go out of ways to August 31st. And I just click OK. Uh, then you may want to check if there's any parameters that you need to set up. And then you can choose to change the notifications if you'd like. I'm just going to leave them set the way they are. So I'll only be notified via email if there's an error. And then I will click on Create. And it says the scheduled job was created successfully. And I'll go look at the scheduled jobs now. Here you can see the job. And uh, it's scheduled to run starting Monday at 2.15. So this would have been another way to set up the job, was, would be to click on that button there. So that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio.
If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. 